as a toddler felt as if if I knew when something was really not right that something just felt a bit off you know family situations it felt a bit off and I was like the bystander sort of looking in now this isn't just about me thank you because they're really making me aware that there many of you who are listening to this might have always felt that yourselves that you may have felt that you were the bystander or you were the odd one out in your family um and that you know even when you were at school maybe not made a great connection with friends um and how it follows through the whole of your life okay thank you that's interesting they were sort of saying to me that uh, also those who feel that there is sort of like an inner wisdom or an inner knowledge or something they might know but they're not sure if other people know it or feeling that they should be doing something even from a young age feeling that you're here for a purpose but you don't know what that purpose is um, feeling maybe disconnected or isolated from your family members your family group your soul pod group maybe feeling at some point that maybe could you be adopted? I remember I felt that when I was a child, <laughs> I felt adopted. I know I physically looked like my mother, but it was like, I still felt I was adopted because of, um, you know, how my parents saw things and how I saw things was so separate, so different. I just couldn't understand how comes I was in this family. And I, I, I was really into animals at the time when I was a child and thinking, maybe I'm like a cuckoo. I've just been placed in the wrong nest. Someone's made a mistake somewhere. Can I, can I go back? You know, that, that's what I was feeling. And it was interesting because this all came up today during this interview, we're talking about this and, um, looking at faith and religion and you know what were my beliefs during my childhood and everything else and I said I always believed there was something and I believed that I was reaching out to something as well and asking for guidance but I didn't fit quite in with any of the religions that I was reading up on or family members or whatever I just still didn't fit in with any of it at all um okay thank you and they just turned around and said the the the, the reason and they said also about the card about trust is what they've been shuffling the cards is that there's this I can thank you. This is like this is an innate belief. Like those who've been here before, like being here before, traveling possibly on a past life. It sounds like, like as if you're if transit, as in voyage. Okay, on a voyage. Okay, on a soul voyage. They're calling it a soul voyage. Those who've been on this soul voyage, meaning in different lifetimes, your soul has been traveling transiting they said oh, I like this transiting on this journey your soul has been on this voyage transiting okay thank you and also thank you so knowing that you're a bit odd or you think that you're odd because you don't fit in with the mainstream children or the kids or you have this inner knowledge or there is something there um thank you that is a sign that you have been here before and yes you are here on a mission that there is a purpose for you okay thank you some of you will also be feeling why is it then that um feeling that if i'm here on a mission of purpose why the hell would you not bring me back with the full instructions or manual what i'm going to be doing in this lifetime why hold back why why do i as the human have to work out why the hell am i here wouldn't it be easy just to come through with the instructions sort of say hey these are the instructions this is who you are this is what you need to do while you're here and they're laughing my guides are all laughing here you, you could see them all here and they're all laughing and they said well this is part of this that if some of you that if you knew um, that you were going to meet the same individuals that you had from your previous lifetime and you hadn't cleared that issue with them, you would hardly want to come forward in this lifetime and meet the same family members and go, oh, not again, or lovers. <laughs> so in a way to give you that amnesia would make sense that, you know, you know that there's a reason why you're here, but you just can't put your finger on it. There must be a reason. I know there is, but you know you can't work it out okay thank you and then you know my question to them I'm sitting here and I was writing a moment ago and I said you know why is it those of us that have or think like this sometimes then we go through the darkest moments in our lives that things have to change and it's like you know other people might just sell through life which I think very rarely they do but but then maybe it's because the job I'm in I'm only going to be seeing certain types of people um but it's like, you know, why is it then? On top of all of that, you're moved into a family, a soul pod, which you don't really connect to because they're very different from yourselves. And, you know, and you've got this ricocheting back and forth about how they see things, how you see things, and it doesn't quite fit. And then on top of all of that, 
you then go and make things happen in our lives to us that then still we're still trying to progress and trying to move forward and we're still trying to learn and all these teachings and stuff and then they started talking about the darkest night of the soul and then I was like oh okay can we explain this now it's it's you know when I talk about darkest night of the soul it's when we it's like where do you turn to who do you turn to and what does it actually mean and it's like those moments when you feel that all those buttons are being pushed and there's nothing else. So if anyone does anything else, you're going to snap. Like, you know, is this really my life? And it's like, you know, one thing after the other, after the other, pushing you over, pushing your limits, pushing your boundaries, you know, losing a home or losing a partner or a family member dying or whatever it is, whatever it is for any, any of us or whatever it is. But feeling at that point that like, can life get any worse? And it's then, you know, don't even say that because, you know, you can say that and then there's something else that gets chucked in for good measure. But it's it's almost like it's to really have that moment in time when it just knocks you off your feet, basically, that it's like, oh, my God, can anything else happen? And then you're at that point in your soul that you, that I think they just said a lot of you then tend to find that a lot of you forget to reach out for help in the sense of to trust, to trust that you have guides, to trust that you are part as one as the divine universe, that you feel that you're alone. And I'm, I'm thinking my guides have sort of said to me, actually by them not reaching out for assistance, it's almost like shutting down to the fact there is help there. Okay, thank you. And one of my guys was sort of saying they, you are all each of you interwoven within the fabric of the universe. So everything that you are feeling, of course, every single thread that makes you who you are is interwoven. And of course, there is that you can reach out, you can ask for guidance. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, let's have a little look. Okay, thank you. And then, and then one of my guys is just sort of saying, but what they tend to do is they feel they're going to be judged, and then they retract in further so there's this feeling of when something happens is that then they retract further back into their shell and they don't reach out and then they feel they're alone okay thank you and then they sort of said that this fogginess of uh thinking straight or being able to connect with source because you're on that low density energy level which doesn't help you know you're at the pit you're at the lowest of the lowest you know depression or suicidal or whatever it is and you're at the lowest stream that you just think I just can't connect where do I how do I get myself back there now what they are saying is very much like oh okay thank you um, I really I wondered why they they did this now this is a shape of an acorn and not that this is a real acorn because we know acorns are a lot smaller than this a hell of a lot smaller than about that size maybe even smaller and they said it's like the oak tree, the wise oak tree. When the wise oak tree um, drops its acorn, the fruits of its if its life's journey, that the acorn has to crack its shell before it can regrow and rebirth. Okay, thank you. So it's through that feeling of that crack, internal crack, that there's no way out, that what's happening to you and being pushed in so many different directions but there is no way out and you get to that the darkest moment of your soul. You'll sit there with yourself and from that process, you start to regrow that rebirthing process. Okay, thank you. They said, but remember it's slow. It is slow. It's meant to be slow. It's meant to be that you are processing every part of it. And if you thank you, they said, okay, got it. They said with the acorn, when it cracks its shell and the internal part comes out, where does it go it goes down deeper into the foundation so it's about learning so imagine there's roots that come down into the soil it's not that it suddenly begins to grow up like a tree straight away and this is what lots of people do when they go through the darkest night of their soul when they're going through problems and issues it's not always a quick fix it is the fact that you need to give it time so that the roots you know go down deeper you learn more about yourself you discover more about yourself and whether that is for you know therapy or whatever it is whatever the route that you you go down it's about then looking at who you really are and to look at where you've come from the structure of what's made you who you are now, somebody reached out to me a couple of days ago and sent me an email and they said 
you know, I've gone down the um, therapy route. I've looked at the psychological side. I've uncovered lots of bits and pieces, but still, I don't feel connected. Still, I feel as if there's so much going on for me that I just need to explore this from another route. And they said to me, to be honest, I would never seek out a channeler or a medium, but I'm, I'm desperate. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> so I said, okay, we'll have a little look at this. So it was then now it's time for the soul journey, but it's almost like they had to crack to go through the deepest, darkest moments of the, the soul. And then they had to obviously look for the psychological perspective to see where that sat internally within them. And then to look at it from a soul perspective, as in what is that part of your journey? What is it that that would fulfill you? But many of you, they're saying that many of you um, do not tend to reach out for guidance. Some of you shut yourselves off. It's, it's almost that like you have that fear in you to reach out. And they said, why why would you not reach out why do you not think these moments in your life when you're going through these obstacles and these challenges are part of the progression of the soul this is part of the journey of helping you to reconnect back to yourself and um, thank you they said so many of you get tied up in the re into relations into relations into relations with each other that you get lost in the turmoil of the emotional side of things that you, you then cannot see clearly. You go back into the brain um, and look at the old patterning and the old, old experiences of who you are. Okay, thank you. Now, thank you. They just said, the reason they're mentioning this is because at this moment in time, there are going to be quite a few challenges for individuals, whether it's financial or you know relationships, whatever it is. Okay, thank you. And they sort of said, if this is really about the soul impacts on your journey right now. This is about how uh, it's going to unfold and how um, it's the challenges internally within you that you'll be able to face, you'll be able to have a little look at, you're to explore, which will be very important at this time. It's about the exploration of who you are. Okay, thank you. Okay, Zachariah's coming in, I can hear. And I was just like, okay, okay. You see, your soul being transported within the human vessel was given the tools of the human, as in the vessel, as in your senses, to explore, to uncover, to, to learn, to be within the teachings of your everyday existence many of your souls have traveled through many different time zones and dimensions there are not just the humans that are listening to this these are the star children in the sense of being from other galaxies and other planets who are with us and who are listening to this information and the soul has been placed and housed within the human physical vessel it gives the soul the opportunity to extend and to fully grow and to learn into the moment, to be within the presence of the, you will see this as suffering. We do not encounter it as suffering. We just are aware that this is, you are going through this experience of your existence as you are. But how else would the soul would have, learn the process how else would the soul wake up to the fact that that you are here for a different purpose we ask because we are interested in your development many of us have stood by your souls and led you on the journey when you are here with us your soul requests the continuation or the development and maybe because of the fact that the soul does not have a vehicle vessel, it's easier for the soul then to assess the situation and to reflect back at that soul journey that you once were as the human being in that moment. And when you are then being processed as a such, as your soul is resting in a sense of 
going through what you have been on the planet that you were sent to, your soul then, without the senses, does not feel or think into that moment as such, but knows it has received all the information that it needed to receive. And when you are with us, we feel and hear that information and it is documented, of course, very important that it's documented of the progression of your soul but many of you do choose to come back and we help that process you appoint those family members within the soul pods for your development and also the relationships that you go on to have now there are many possibilities of the relationships romantic relationships friendships that you go on to develop depending on the families that you have been placed upon and how you then work through the information during childhood it's easier for your soul to remember uh, where you have been and then you have your caregivers that say this is nonsense Many of you will have those imaginary friends and many of them are guides that have stepped forward with you when you're in your childhood and because of the caregivers, family members who say this is your imaginary friend, the child begins to fade out this guide that has stepped forward with you in this existence of time. <clears throat> Many of you who are children have this ability to connect more openly to source and allow yourself to work within your imagination. And this is how many of you will connect when you wish to then tune into those psychic abilities, your natural intuition. But many of you as children have been told this is nonsense, this is your imagination and so you go on to believe the process you then are indoctrinated into the school programming and then from the school programming again many of you who will hear this as children you tended to look out the windows and allowed your imagination to take it where it needed to be and many of you through play then no longer continue to play and be creative Many of you then went on to college or university or went straight out to work. And again, you were indoctrinated into your society. It, within the creativity, music, art, whatever form that creativity is, connects your mind, your brain. It clicks into that frequency wave, which makes it easier to connect to source. But then, of course, as we say, there is this process that through human life that you end up, you know, whether, whether you meet this person and you have a romantic relationship but that fouls or the family situation, there are those endless opportunities for growth. They are not so always the negative, but they are the opportunities when situations happen to go off to find yourself, to make life a lot easier yourself in the long run it's to explore yourself that is why you will have those experiences it's about your soul journey why you are here we have been with many of you that have had that moment where you have sat with yourself and in the dark moment of the soul where you wish to seek out more but don't know how you will continue to move forward there has been many of us that have held your hands on your journey when you have gone through the deepest, darkest moments. And then you have realized that actually you can get through that particular moment in time. It is a way in a way to help you to understand you are stronger than you imagine. But most of you do not work within the heart center. Most of you are still stuck within the logical thinking brain. You allow that to govern you. But we feel more and more of you are questioning this now on your planet for the wars and separations and everything that you've all been through the last couple of years. 
we are aware that the planet is beginning to wake up more or understand that there has to be something more than what you see or which you are living in, the changes you would wish to make. But many of you still decide to stay in the same accommodation or the location or the relationship, even though that you feel unhappy within. There is something inside of many of you that feel this is what life is about. This is the relationship I have to stay in. This is, I am not in abundance. And many of you are holding yourself back. We wish to say that you can create abundance. We wish to say that you can create the life that you wish to live. But this has to be something that you eat, sleep, breathe every day to have the awareness of. There's great changes around many of you. And also which some of you may not even realize that being in locations around individuals that uh, how they feel will uh, encroach upon your energy as well so it is to be aware of how you feel and where you are in your life on your journey and those that you bring into your life and the environment you live in you are like that plant that needs to be in an environment where it is the best for you at any given time but many of you still do not realize this and just continue to do your nine to five job and to buy these new clothes and to eat the food and you still feel unhappy because you need to look deeper into the soul as in what is occurring for you. So many of us do step forward with you when you step onto this planet, but many of you have lost that connection and maybe do not even realize that you can be as close to us as you were once before as that child and also in spirit as such as you will see it as that but when your soul is with us the knowledge that is embedded with all the information that we have upon you and each of your lifetimes you have traveled forward and believe it or not you have asked to have this soul existence as you are right now but there is great transformation right now but yes it will feel like the crack of the acorn shell it may feel difficult at times but what will feel easier upon yourself is if that you do have some trust some faith that you're here for a reason a purpose that is part of remembering remembering to connect to source your direct connection with source will help you as well whether individuals it's through religion or it is through spirituality however it is meditation may you not even want to or wish to give it a name as such we are aware of your names on and words on this planet that they can be confusing at times and how you see them it may be that you just become aware that you are greater than yourself and that when we say you are all connected you are all connected you will feel the energy of others around you, your environment, you're all connected, you are all part of source. What made that plant there and what made that human there or what made that animal there, you're all part of source. There is an energy on your planet and as in many planets too. And there are many planets that are going through similar changes to yourself. These planets are also in other dimensions and other time zones and places. You see, the soul wishes innately to continue to upgrade itself. This is the whole process of the soul. When there is resistance to this, there is this deep dissatisfaction and frustration internally within you. You cannot run away from the dissatisfaction, the frustration. This is all part of the process of enabling you to move forward. But as we say, you are part as one in the energy on your planet. And that is why we always step forward to guide and to give some teachings to help you to understand that you are making changes. You can still continue to make changes. The rest of your planet is starting to make more changes. Many of you will feel those changes. You, many of you hear this are the empaths that are picking up the frequencies of others and feeling overwhelmed by emotions of others, which may not be yourself, 
or you may be resonating frequencies at the similar level and then you are just magnetizing those individuals into your life. We have spoken many times before about the manifestation energy of that, but we are saying that if you wish to up-level your energy, it is to step out of the mind of the imprisonment of what you think life here on your planet should be and for you to step out and to, to get what it is that you wish. But can you imagine if all of you believed in that? Many of your authority figures may be in disapproval or or concerned that you might leave your job. Think about it. If you think about your history and time going back on your planet, your planet has always felt that it needed rulers to rule everything. And many of those rulers now have sh shown themselves to maybe not to be so trustworthy as such. What if we told you this was the great time of the awakening of now being understanding that you have the power and it's about the way that you now try to live your life as you move forward. What if it is that we told you that your soul entering on the planet at this particular time wanted to be part of the process of the change that's on your planet? What if we told you that each and every one of you that hears this already, there is change within you because we know we can see, we can feel you. We know for you hearing this information is triggering something internally within you. Hopefully it's the empowerment of you seeking out there it should be some change, but you do what you wish with it. Sometimes we've noticed many of you when you receive a free gift that you are shocked and don't feel that you're in deserving or receiving it. This is many of your humankind has felt this before. Even the messages that you will hear from other channelers and other individuals, some of you will feel, well, this is not to be trusted. But we say for each and every one of you to trust your heart and then your heart will make that decision. Yes, of course, from the incidents, in experiences that you go through in your life that you be aware that you will survive them that you will get through them that they are a training ground for you to have an understanding of how far you can come your mind is what stops you it's more the mind shift of how you see your life and you can continue to repeat the constant lifestyle that you have lived, this is entirely up to yourselves. But many of you, we are aware, are unhappy with how you have lived your existence. And so this is that time that if you wish, that you can create the changes in your life. But it's about you being in control of yourself. This is for you to empower yourself. This is not about any of us telling you what you have to do. This is about you seeking out information that how life has been for many years and feels very different now and you wish for change. This is why you have those dark soul nights and the cracking of the acorn is so that you can be then rebirthed in the sense of see things slightly different from how you would have done before. It's about giving back that power to yourself and to learn that you have all the capability that you can to make those changes. <clears throat> okay <laughs> okay so we will go to questions <laughs>